Jablonski looking to throw off play action over the middle. It is tipped and intercepted. Looks like Tatro got underneath it there. We'll look for a call from the officials. They're going to huddle and make a decision. St. Anselm seems to think they have the football. The field judge comes in from the near side. He's indicating first down St. Anselm. We'll see if this call stands. And it is. It is an interception for Tatro, his second interception of the year. His third turnover just by himself. Murphy looks to throw the screen. Charles has some blockers in front as the 40, 45, 50. Picks up an extra gear. 40, 30, 25, 20. Charles stiff on some man down to the 10. Hole down at the 7-yard line. A horse collar at the end there. Definitely had him around the upper end oh, of the jersey. Oh my. I guess they say he had the shoulder pad, not the horse collar. A big game for Charles in the screen pass. Takes the Hawks inside the 10-yard line for just the second time tonight. Receivers, Murphy looking to throw that way on the roll. Steps up, throws, end zone, touchdown! Randy Gomes with the grab in traffic. His first touchdown catch of the year. And the Hawks do end up getting in the end zone. It takes them until the fourth quarter to get there, but Murphy finds Gomes from seven yards out. They get into double figures. And, of course, the ground game is, is still going to be there, and that's still going to be the first off. Here's Shane Jackson turning the corner, cutting it back at the 50. Here's Jackson with a lot of space to the 30, to the 20. I don't think they're going to catch him. He's going to take it all the way in for a touchdown. There you go. How about Shane Jackson? Late in the ball game, getting a look, a simple little screen pass. It looked like they had him pinned to the near sideline. He got free, made a tremendous cutback in midfield and took it all the way across in for the touchdown. The quarterback was Yanni Gavalis, and the freshman will be credited with his first touchdown throw.